Hello everyone, this is Shai with you and in this video we are going to be looking at volume clusters. Now the volume cluster is uh, specific to a bar or an entire session also and it is the same thing as the POC or point of control of a bar. Simply, simply put, it means it has the largest concentration of volume. Now, why do we use this term called volume cluster is because we do not want to focus on one particular row in a chart which has got the largest volume, but a collection of volume around a particular zone making it a cluster which is the largest in that bar. That is what we call the volume cluster. Now, the volume cluster is a very important concept of the market profile and indeed okay, the order flow okay, which we trade out of because it tells you in one single point that the market actually traded the maximum uh, amount of volume at that particular zone. So we denote this in our charts through this yellow rectangular box which you would see and this is a three minute job bar chart. So every three minute you would get a yellow bar okay which would show as the maximum volume of that bar. Now how do I know it's the maximum volume? It, Quickly, okay, you need to calculate 1638 over here and 712 and at no point over here, you will see that um, there is no volume greater than 16 plus 7, that's 23, 2350, you would not get more than 2350 anywhere over here. But we do the math for you so that you just have to focus, okay, on this particular yellow bar over here, you do not need to do any calculations and that represents the largest volume of the bar. You could also find that volume cluster in a 30 minute bar setting and uh, if you're looking at an order flow of a 30 minute chart uh, this yellow one over here is your volume cluster now an important point over here about a volume cluster if you are initiating a trade and let's say okay you are buying calls try to buy above the volume cluster of the bar try to buy above the largest concentration of volume within the bar so if you're seeing okay this as a bar and the volume cluster shifts up you would not make it a point okay to buy a call above this bar so this is a dead end for you you would not get much profits if you choose to buy above this because the volume cluster is at the top of the bar same thing okay over here okay if you are a buyer you would be okay looking for price to scale up above this cluster and you get a move to about 169 over here but you would not be a buyer anywhere over here these are basic rules okay of the volume cluster if you want to be a buyer you have to be a buyer above the volume cluster if you want to be a seller you want to choose a long put trade try to do it below the volume cluster so what we also do is uh, we've had previous volume clusters which have not been visited by the market market so whenever okay you see a volume cluster is not revisited it extends to the right and you can pick up this zone as a potential support for the market on the next leg so in this case okay this was a volume cluster the market okay took support over here multiple times and eventually rose now this is a volume cluster from earlier and it tends to become a supply zone so whichever volume clusters are are not visited by the market they tend to extend itself to its rise uh, right and you can quickly make out okay through these numbers which will be visible on your order flow chart so you can utilize these points these previous naked volume clusters to book profits if the market is visiting or okay you can use them and you cross above them you can initiate fresh long positions right so this was about volume clusters in the next video we are going to be looking at how to utilize the information which the illiquid zones of the market tell you